ACV is actually the vehicle that BAE is offering to the Marine Corps for the Amphibious Combat Vehicle 1.1. Our offering is a fully amphibious 8x8, and ultimately it was designed then to do or perform the same mission as an AAV, the track vehicle now, except this is a wheeled variant that has increased survivability, but the same capability in open ocean and the ability to launch and recover from an amphibious ship. For our offering, as I said earlier, it's an 8x8, eight eight, meaning it has eight wheels. It has 690 horsepower through a Cursor uh, 16 engine. The vehicle is as built and designed with our partner Iveco Defense from Italy. So it is an 8x8 eight eight with a Iveco drivetrain and suspension. It has what we call the H-Drive. Uh, and then it was designed for fully amphibious environment, meaning that it can be open ocean capable, transit the surf zone, optimized for soft soil mobility, launch and recover from an amphibious ship, but also optimized then for its capability to maneuver on land, up to 65 miles an hour on land, and then also uh, increased survivability in that it has a V-shaped hull, unlike an AAV that has a flat bottomed hull because of the torsion bars for the track suspension. So as I said earlier, it's an 8x8, a fully amphibious. It is designed to be fully amphibious. Uh, the actual suspension is uh, proven uh, from my VECO application to the Centauro and now Freccia family of vehicles. It has the H-Drive, but they took the H-Drive, the uh, drivetrain itself, and applied it to a newly designed hull. It has a V-shaped bottom, and the design of the hull itself was optimized then for amphibious performance. It is a push-button uh, push control then to go into swim mode from land mode. In the back, you'll see two propellers to provide thrust, and then in front of me, you see the bow plane. So you literally press a button, the bow plane deploys, and then a snorkel rises from the engine compartment to draw air uh, into the engine compartment to cool the engine in swim mode. And then it also has on the starboard side a uh, cooling box that allows water in to cool the engine in swim mode. Obviously you'll see the eight wheels, four on each side. The H-Drive, this vehicle has no axles. Each wheel is uh, attached then to a, uh, a drive box and each drive box then is driven by a drive shaft so there's no axles. Uh, that is to increase the mobility in soft solar environments and pull or increase the tractive eff effort like a tracked vehicle. So those gearboxes then are driven by a drive shaft. There's three drive shafts, port and starboard side, and they are linked then to a transfer box that is in the middle of the vehicle, or roughly in the first third of the vehicle. So as you walk down then, you'll be able to see the V-shaped hull, very pronounced for optimized survivability. The survivability solution is really three levels in that there is a blast plate on the bottom, then a V-shaped hull, and then uh, what's interesting about this vehicle is the interior is suspended from the ceiling. So there is a seat frame with the seat suspended in the seat frame, and that seat frame is suspended from the ceiling for optimized survivability for basically what it would be Stainag 3 or above.